So this video is going to be a little loud because I'm going to walk into the laundry room and there's just no way to turn off the fan while I'm in there. It's connected to the light. So what I want to show you is what I've done to redo this room because to me 2021 is a good year to start stuff over. So that leads to the garage. Those go to my dust mop. I store my huge two and a half foot Christmas wreath there. There's the vacuum cleaner and it's actually hooked to the wall with a Hercules hook and I can't get it off one handed. Yeah, I can. So, let me see how I can do this one handed. Hercules hooks are really easy. You shove them in. Do it like that. And then you hang stuff. And they hold various amounts of poundage. But you can see, let me show you right there. It just clips on. And then it, it's there. It hangs. So, and the garage door actually opens and just misses it should we have the need to swing it all the way open. So that's one wall. And yeah, that's that's just all the room there is on that one wall. Then we come to the next wall, which is the washer and dryer. And I've just moved them together because it gives me this space down at the end where I have clean folding chairs, not the old ones from outside or the garage, step ladder, and then I have a crate here for if I need to gather stuff up and carry somewhere. And then this thing is for, I think, shoes or something. Anyway, it just fits the spot and it holds like um, extra vacuum cleaner bits, um, the bags for in the washer for delicate items, Kleenex, blue shop towels, um, chamois cloth, wool balls that I've rolled with wool yarn. Right now there's just a pair of scissors in there. Extra paper towels. And then down the side, let me show you, we had a lot of purging in our closet. So I zip tied the hangers and then just hung them down the side here. Keeps them out of the way and I don't have to get rid of them yet if I'm not ready to. All right, let's go back over. Saw the washer dryer. Let's start the next row here. So this already came with the rod and a shelf. Then, so there's the hangers we normally use. And up in this little basket are just some flat little things that can be used for washing and drying, but they slide through if I put them um, going vertical. All right, this rack was actually had an, hooked onto another one and they went over the door and I used the other parts outside in the garage, but I didn't need the bottoms. So I pulled them, brought them in, hung them, and they just fit here and take up that amount of space. I did not cover up the water on and off in case I ever have an emergency, but I'm keeping here um, the detergents, some sample stuff, some Glade, Downy, stuff for clothes, extra wipes. There's only 35 in a container, so I got three when I found them. No, I did not take all of them. I'm not that person and then some plastic gloves in medium. Down in the bottom are some plastic gloves, I believe in large or extra large for hubby, just for different projects we do. Lint, this is a Folgers coffee can. I just used some, I think it's called red tape. Get it at the craft stores, it's super strong. Did it on the back of the scrapbooking paper, just lettered lint on it with a marker, and hole punched here with my Big Bite hole punch, fastened it, that's it. Then the next one has extra Kleenex, 
more cleaning stuff. Yeah, I actually found an extra bottle of detergent when I was cleaning out here. And then the top is my Clorox toilet cleaners and then just an all around the house cleaner. Okay, let's go over again up to the top. I made labels just with scrapbooking paper and then sent it through my um, laminator. So napkins and utensils, disposable cups and bowls, baggies and wraps, extra paper towels, backyard games, and plastics, you know. Now the plastics are actually the Walmart 50 cent plates, bowls, and tumbler cups, but we don't need as many as we bought all the time. So I put those up there to pull out during the summer. Also, once those are gone and back out where we need them in the summer, these two crates can stack and it will leave me room to put our portable heaters for the back porch up there, okay? Now, uh, let's see, turning. That's just a rack that I already had on the wall, so I added a roll of paper towels, a roll of bags for the kitchen trash cans. So once we come through this door from the dining room, going through this door to take the trash out, we come back in, grab a trash bag, take it back in and put it in. And then just a few other little things there. And then as we come on around, there is my dust mop. Remember I showed you early the different bases I have. And then just some keys on an old key hanger that was uh, my folks. And then just some birds and stuff in here. And back to that door. So yeah, that needs to be washed. But anyway, the room looks fairly good. It is very busy looking but everything is very manageable. So encouraging you to take your time to go ahead and go through, sorry, I know I'm yelling now, and go through your laundry room, update it as best you can with what you've got. I spent all of $8, and it was for two of these crates from Target. They were four bucks a piece, and so when I was doing a grocery pickup, I ordered two of those because I knew exactly where I wanted them. I've got room to stack two more, but I think it's better use of my space if I stack those and put my two heaters in here. Um, so anyway, that's it. I hope I at least inspired you somehow with a little something. I was gonna repaint the room all of these um, hand-painted little mural things have been here for umpteen years, but it took me all day just to organize, so I said, forget that. I'm not doing it. <laughs> so, anyway, and um, somebody was wondering about toilet paper, and I don't keep my toilet paper in the laundry room. That's not where I use it. I use it in the bathroom. So, we have some in the linen closet couple rolls on the back of the toilet itself. And then our sinks actually are up on feet. So I have room to put extra toilet paper in Ziplocs slid underneath those cabinets. So there's that. And you're like, well, why do you keep paper towels in there? That's not where you use them. I do use paper towels. I have one roll in the garage. I have a roll open in the laundry room have a role in my art studio. And so for me, yes, this is a good place to keep those. So, all right, if you have any questions, pop them down below. If you would like to make a donation, slide up across the top, go to the side, says more, and there's a place there where you can donate through PayPal or whatever. And that just enables me to keep making videos, buying new products, trying things out, telling you how I like them or don't. And usually that's more with my coloring book stuff. But anyway, if you've happened on this video, um, have fun. Yeah, just make it a fun place and yet make it very usable. Use up all that space on the sidewalls. You know, don't let any, any space come to waste. I have debated on putting a shelf up over that door 
and another one up over the dining room door just to put more stuff on but then I think I really don't have any more stuff right now that needs storing so I'm good with that but should the need arise yeah there's even a nail all the way up there it used to have something hanging on it and just doesn't anymore so um yeah I don't know why I just went there we go see it all the way at the top yeah I don't even know what used to be hanging up there but evidently I used it so yeah make use of your space uh questions or anything let me know down below and I will talk to y'all later bye